hello everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel thank you very much for your love and support as always i remain loyal so there's a first day i'm coming across this channel for the first time this is agatha progress channel and i come across your way every blessed day in this channel as you can see we bring the latest and we bring the happening all over the globe and in this channel also we react to all videos yes all videos and i do hope you join the family right now this video you are about to watch i don't know what you felt about this video but i hope you do pick some sense from this video all right let's dive into the news in details all here we are from hmm. we are always happy and we are thanking god for how far god has been so faithful Today, I'm not going to talk too much because our beloved brother has some words to tell us. Our beloved brother just wants to expatiate on some of the words or some of the wording rather for us. Want to expatiate on some issues because when something happened in Biafra land and it snapped, you will see Nigeria government, they will say the thing is Photoshop. Do we really have Photoshop in Biafra? All these pictures that we snapped, what transpired, what happened, the brutality, the killings, are they flame? Is it that Nigeria government or Nigeria army or the soldier did not do it? We are just saying it. We know exactly what we are saying. And we are saying exactly what we know. That is the spirit of Biafra. These are brother at times, if you listen to him, you will see the leader of Biafra in him. God does not give birth to cow. Cow does not give birth to goat either. You will know that Mazina the Kanu is the one that brought this guy up because the way he speaks, the way he does things, is always straight to the point as well. And with him, we are so happy having people like him in Biafra land. I have to release the video for us to watch the video. But before we watch the video, I'm just saying one or two things. What do you really know about this Biafra? Have you ever dreamt of seeing Biafra coming to pass? Did you ever wish that Biafra would come? Have you imagined it? Have you digested it? If you have, what have you done then? Are you the type that normally criticize people or you are the type that encourage people? Anyways, here is the video. Let's watch it together and drop your opinion in the comment section. Photoshopping is Nigeria. So it is only the Nigeria people that know what is Photoshopping. We Biafra don't know what is Photoshopping. And I'm going to show you today that anybody that tells you that Biafra have photoshopping, <laughs> that uh, somebody is the head or the generator of uh, of uh, photoshopping, tell them, refer them to Nigeria. In fact, you do not need to refer them to Nigeria because they are Nigerians. Anybody that open his or her mouth to tell you that there is Photoshop in some way. My brother, if you are not a Biafran, you are a Nigerian. And it is only Nigeria people that does that. So we are not Photoshopping people. Uh, one thing, one thing uh, <laughs> I do not want to, to respond to, to that uh, man, but uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna respond to him in a very comic way. You know, I'm gonna respond to him in a very, very comic way. I'm going to respond to him. I'm going to tell him that uh, first of all, first of all, he need to tell his followers. Or, you know, you don't have, you don't even have followers. He need to tell the people that are inviting him for interview to explain what is constitutional force major. That's all. Chikina. The only thing we want him as a lawyer, he claimed to be is to explain what is the meaning of constitutional force major. Do you have anything like that in law? You don't have it. We have we have watched some of uh, some of those who who we have liberated. 
the, but they are so much ashamed to, you know, to come back. We've watched them where they are blabbing and shouting about about um, uh, um, uh, 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 referendum. They are, you know, shouting about referendum. How they have done this, how they have done that. It is no longer bringing down the constitution. It is no longer bringing down the constitution. The same people, I don't want to respond to them, but I have to, like I say, in a very comic way, the same people that are telling you that Mazin Namdi Kano did not buy the idea of referendum in 2013. They are the same people who want to bring down the constitution of Nigeria for 23 years. In that 23 years of struggling to bring down the constitution of Nigeria, they were not shouting referendum. Because if they do, and if Nigeria government know that they are actually meaning business, they are going to come after them. I want to tell you something. After 23 years, the people who parade themselves, you see, everybody, you know, we cannot be fighting for Nigeria disintegration the same way. People, you can have a different way, a different approach, but you have to define. You have to be very, very open. You have to let the people who want to believe in you know what you are looking for. And it is either you are looking for a new Nigeria or you are looking for a disintegrated Nigeria. And that is what these people have refused to say. We don't know which one they are for, but we know through their words and everything they do. So now for the past 23 years, some people were wasting time and collecting money and they are being bankrolled into telling you that they want to bring down the constitution of Nigeria. As if the constitution is, is completely idiot. <laughs> as if the constitution is completely evil. The constitution is not evil as such. The same constitution they want to bring down say that the protection of life and properties of every Nigeria should be the primary responsibility of the government of Nigeria. It is in the constitution. So how is that now the problem? How is that the problem? The same constitution say, the appointment of the president of Nigeria must reflect the federal character system. And everybody in Nigeria is making reference to this particular session of the constitution of Nigeria. So what have you done to, already, to the constitution you already have? At least, let us not go into... Do you know what they are doing? I want to tell you people today, and I have told you this, this thing before. They are only fighting the thing in exclusive list. Those things, items, you know, they are business people. They are business people. They are bankrolling that man, that has passed for man, that bingo. And all the thing they do is to go and cause confusion any place they see that people are embracing the idea of disintegrating nigeria they will go there and try to dis de destroy it but you know why i keep quiet you know why some of us are keeping quiet because there is nothing they say to yoruba people today we do the white people today they will listen because we do the white people not only have learned from their own mistakes <laughs> but experience they say is the best teacher so it is not like you do the white people, Yoruba people, this new generation of Yoruba people, they fall from heaven. No, they are learning from their own experience. <laughs> so our own is to tell them when they are having this experience, we now be analyzing the experience they are having to them. And some of them will begin to know what is going on. So the issue of whether we are going to have problem with do the work from this, uh, you know, this thing they are displaying, is you know they, they don't know that we have gone far with the Dudua people. So what I want to tell you this evening is why do you think that these people only focus on things on exclusive list? Have you listened to them talk? Have you listened to them talk? <laughs> no, 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 I don't think you do. I don't think you know you had you can never listen to them to address section 140. 141 of the Nigerian Constitution. You can never hear them using this at, as a case study. You can never use, you can never hear them use the, 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 the part or section of the Constitution that say 
protection of life and properties of every Nigeria shall be the primary responsibility of the government. You can never hear them. No, 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 no. Any day you hear them say that, it means they have repented. You can never hear them to use that particular section of the Constitution as a case study. You will also not hear them using that the appointment of the federal government of Nigeria, the presidency, must reflect the federal character system. You can never ever hear them in all their argument to use that to show that the constitution have failed. No, what they are using is things in the exclusive list. So first of all, what you should be telling the people looking to bring down the constitution is this. It is because of our exposition, exposing them, opening their nyash, they begin to gradually step in, stepping in with a, okay, referendum, referendum, referendum. And now the thing we have forgotten two years, three years ago. None of them were talking referendum. But you hear him. He said, I told him I'm the canoe. I told Masin I'm the canoe about the referendum. He said, no. I told him this. He said, no. I want you to go and check their information. It is everywhere. Go and check it anyway. You can never hear them talk about referendum. All the things I have said is to bring down the constitution. When they bring down the constitution, they will now begin to sit on the table to talk a way forward. So they were afraid of even mentioning referendum in the first place. It was because of the momentum the struggle has gathered, the awareness the struggle has created, that made them to begin to come from the back door and start mentioning referendum. For the past 23 years. So now, I want to ask you something. If they could not implement the constitution, some of the constitution, some of the wording of this constitution, if it cannot be enforced and implemented, how do you think that uh, in a renewed Nigeria or in a new Nigeria, you will be able to implement the constitution? How are you, do you, first of all, you should ask yourself, what is the reason for not implementing the federal character system? If you get that answer, the reason behind the federal government disregarding the constitution of Nigeria, if you get that answer, my brother, you can never ever talk of Nigeria again. If you get the answer to a question, why? Is this government not protecting the life and properties of Nigeria people, which is the primary purpose and the primary responsibility of each of any government? According to the 1999 constitution, they say it is evil. If you answer that question, why it is not being implemented, then you will never talk about Nigeria. In fact, you can never you will never listen to anything, anything Nigeria. Do you know why we are shouting Biafra? Because we ask these questions to ourselves. We do research. Why is this not being implemented? And we come to the answer. We got it.